Hey YouTubers, um, I wanted to make a quick update since um, it's another 38 days till I have my first shot of manliness. Um, today I had a minor breakdown, like um, I came to see some pictures of me. Um, well, I was having great fun at the picture though, but. Um, I was stretched in a certain way with my binder and um, I just could not see a guy in me for the first time in about one and a half years and that was very very confrontating and it made me anxious as well um, because, yeah, I have a boyfriend, we're pretty new, um, like, we know each other for 17 days now, or this is the 17th day we know each other, um, so we're pretty fresh, and he gets to know me at this point, which is good, because... I'm me, and I'm not sure how much testosterone will change that. Um, but, yeah, since we're new, it's pretty hard for me to uh, believe or trust that we'll go through this whole changing thing together, which is very, very scary. And um, that made me anxious. Also, uh, there was this video of a Dutch trans guy I knew, and I was like, oh my god, I never actually felt that way. Maybe I'm making the wrong choice. Like, just everything collided. Um, I had have two weeks, two and a half weeks of, sorry, of, hello, Cam? Anyway. Um, you know what I look like anyway. Um, two, two and a half weeks of amazing positive energy and it had to go wrong at some point and it did. But usually I'm not a person who asks for help. Like I rather just do it on my own and just deal with it because I'll fuck up someone else's evening. And, um, but this time it just didn't feel right to do this on my own. And I poked my boyfriend on uh, WhatsApp and he carried me through it, which is a major boost in the whole, okay, he really gets it. Like, he, he knows how to deal with it in a way. But still, it's it's a very scary thought that maybe in about three months, when I'm ri uh, uh, yeah testosterone-driven machine, um, that he might leave me. I don't know. And that just made me, me made me crumble and cry and cry even harder. And um, yeah, at a certain point, the tears stopped. Thank God. And I came back to my senses and just told him of, about my fears and anxieties. And, uh, yeah, he was just very positive. Like, I love you for who you are. Just shut up. <laughs> practically, that was what he practically said. Um, which is, which gives a very secure feeling. Like... Okay, there's really someone who wants to know me, who wants to love me for what and who I am. And um, also, uh, we're going together to my first tea shop at the 26th yeah, of July. And after that, we're going to buy some stuff in Amsterdam and just make a great day out of it. And I'm not sure how I'll feel. I'll be one childish kid, I guess. But it just feels so nice that he actually acknowledged that it's such a big thing. It's such a big day. Um, yeah, it's it's just 
weird to think that I don't have to explain everything. Like, of course he has some questions since, well, his ex-girlfriend was a male, male to female, so about a couple of things are practically the same, like the, the whole medical thing, and, but he doesn't know what testosterone does to someone's body, and um, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't have to explain him the emotional side, and I'm not sure why my cam is blurred again. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that just gives a certain relaxedness in the whole relationship thing. Like, when I was in a relationship before, I haven't been, since I'm... Uh, came out of the closet. I haven't had a relationship. Um, but before that, when we were cuddling, it was always a bit awkward. Like, um, I never could really close my eyes and just relax. I was always very tense and uh, just on edge. Like, oh, this feels weird. Which, with him, when I cuddle, it's just okay to fool around and be a bit weird at times and just actually cuddle and have fun with it. And my paranoia brain still doesn't get ways with me, but I hope that will shut up in about three months. But I guess not, knowing myself. Hopefully. Anyway, um, so yeah, major breakdown, not so nice, um, boyfriend, very nice, T-shot, great, uh, all I'm waiting uh, for is uh, for a psychologist to call me uh, for my personality disorders, because I'm a mental health person as well, and, um, I'm not sure when that's going to happen, so I'll just have to wait for that. Yeah. So that's my quick update of seven and a half minutes. It's never quick with me. Um, I'm not sure when you'll see me again. Uh, probably somewhere next week when I try to make a new video. Um, not sure what the topic will be and whatever. And hopefully it will be more positive than it is now. And uh, I wish you all a great week, and hopefully see you someday soon. Bye.